Welcome to my channel, Do What You Love. My name is Missy, and today I have some easy recipes to take along with you to any holiday parties that may be coming up. The holidays are upon us, this is party season, everybody's looking for easy recipes, appetizers, and things like that to take with them as a treat to the parties that they go to. So I have some of my favorites to do today, and I hope you guys today enjoy I'm them. making a simple sweet and sour meatball a Hawaiian sausage, a sweet savory cheese spread, and my world famous stuffed mushrooms. I say world famous because I feel like everywhere I go, I'm asked to bring these. These are simple, they're easy, they don't cost much, and they take no time if at all. If you think you might try one of these recipes, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite, which one you're thinking of trying, and if you follow me on my Twitter, you can even tweet me a pic. That would be so cool. If you guys like videos like this, please give this a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you think you're gonna like me, stick around and subscribe. If you would like to see more cooking videos, please let me know. I would love to do more. I just don't know if this interests you or you'd rather see hauls and DIYs. But if you think you like the cooking stuff, I definitely can do more since the holidays are upon us. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I had so much fun making it. I'm making this intro actually after I made all of those fun goodies and they are almost all gone. No lie, my son ate the entire plate of the savory um, sweet cheese spread. <laughs> Yeah, he ate that all by himself. So not only are these adult approved, but they are definitely kid approved as so well. I'm back another day with another video. You guys have a great day wherever you're at. Be blessed and I'll see you soon. Bye. Let's get started with our sweet and sour meatballs. I picked up turkey meatballs, dark brown sugar, chives, Concord grape jelly, and sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce, and you're going to need toothpicks. Let's begin. This is a two pound bag of turkey meatballs that we're just gonna put in a pan and cover it with our Sweet Baby Ray sauce. This is actually the spice part of our sweet and spicy meatballs. We're gonna add a little bit of brown sugar and guys, I don't measure, I just eyeball it. So I would say maybe a half a cup and then a half a jar of your Comfort Grape um, Jelly. And then you're just gonna mix it really, really well and then bake it in the oven on 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour just till it's really sticky, gooey, and bubbly. Believe me, your nose will know when it's done. And I'm telling you, these turned out beautiful. And just to make the colors pop and to really bring out the flavor, I just cover them with a little bit of cut chive and they are delicious. Now we're gonna start with our Hawaiian sausage. And you're going to need smoked sausage, chili sauce, chunk pineapple, brown sugar, and Smucker's um, orange marmalade. Then you're just gonna slice your sausages at an angle so that there's nice big pieces. Then you're going to take your chunk pineapple and put a toothpick through it and then take a piece of your sausage and put it in a pan. Once you're done doing that, in a separate pan, you're going to bring a boil on your stove, the chili sauce, brown sugar, and the Smucker's orange marmalade to a nice consistency, so it's like sticky but soupy, and then you're gonna pour it all over your sausages and pineapple, and then bake them in the oven for about an hour as well on 350. They're raw, so you wanna make sure that they're done, and they turn out delicious about an hour. They are so sticky, so gooey, and so yummy. You'll love them I promise then you're just gonna top them beautiful glazed sausages with some chives and I'm telling you your guests will love it For my delicious stuffed mushrooms, you're going to need Bob Evans savory sausage, mushrooms of course, stove top, an onion, and celery. I prefer turkey because it has a more sage taste to it, the stove top. So of course, in a pan, you're just going to bring your onions and celery and sausage to, a, I was gonna say to a boil, but what you wanna do is fry it so that it's cooked and good. 
And then you're just going to add your stove top to it and follow the directions on the back. Instead of water, I use chicken broth. And then to clean out your mushrooms, all you do is take a spoon and just dig around. And I'm telling you, it makes the perfect hole to put your stuffing. And just a side note, do not wash off your mushrooms underneath running water because then your mushrooms will become really soggy. Just wipe them off with a paper towel, which I did beforehand before I did this. So don't think I'm like using dirty mushrooms. I already did it. See the perfect holes? I mean, it's perfect for stuffing. And then of course you just stuff your mushrooms. And I mean, pile it on there, guys. And then I top my mushrooms off with some cheddar cheese. And I bake these for a half an hour on 350 and they come out crispy, delicious, and cheesy. They are so yummy. You'll love them. For my sweet and savory cheese spread, you're going to need dried roasted peanuts, cream cheese, Smucker Sweet Orange Marmalade, and crackers. First thing, you need to put about half a jar of the orange marmalade in into a micro microwave safe container and nuke it for about 25 seconds till it's a nice soupy consistency. Add your cream cheese to a bowl and then see how the marmalade's like real soupy, real watery. That's how you want it because you have to be able to pour it over the cream cheese. And that's exactly what you're going to do. Just pour it over the cream cheese and because the marmalade is now warm, it really loosens up the cream cheese and makes it ready for dipping. And then the savory part of this is the roasted nuts. Now, some people like peanuts. I prefer sunflower seeds because they're really salted and I like the salty sweet. <laughs> so it's whatever kind of peanut you prefer. And then of course you need your yummy buttery crackers and I'm telling you, the buttery and the salty and the creamy, <gasps> this stuff is the bomb. It'll go quick, take my word for it. And a wonderful thing about this is that you could prepare this at the party. You do not have to prepare this beforehand. It takes minutes. So guys, these are my appetizers that you can take anywhere with you to any kind of party. Maybe you're having a party at your house. This literally took me like an hour to prepare and to make and to cook and it's ready to go. It's so simple, guys. These are like the simplest party appetizers everywhere. And I'm telling you, your guests will love them. They are delicious. So if you want to give it a try, I suggest that you do. And if you do, tweet me pics. Comment down below what one's your favorite one, which ones you want to try. I hope your mouth is watering. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.